Donald Trump is not making any public appearances today after delivering a historic address to Congress Tuesday evening. It was a big change of tone for the U.S. president. He used his speech to call for a, quote, renewal of the American spirit. Trump's address to Congress was seen by many as positive in message and more presidential in tone. Despite that, he did take a hard line on issues from immigration to health care. So the policies didn't change, but certainly the packaging seemed to have changed. Not everyone, though, was convinced by what they heard. One of those people is Congressman Eric Swalwell. He's a Democrat from California, and he joins me now live from Capitol Hill. Congressman, thanks for being with us. You know, among people who watched this speech, 78% told CNN that they thought that it was positive, that they were happy with what they heard. And this is much higher than his popularity rating nationally. Do you give him credit for delivering a good speech yesterday? Well, Hala, thanks for having me back. And I will give him credit for being able to deliver a speech, but where I come from, the people that I represent are asking, when is he gonna deliver the jobs that he promised? This was the businessman, great negotiator, president, and we're 41 days in and all we've seen is chaos. And in Hala, I should also tell you, I had the opportunity to greet him before he uh, went to the podium to address my colleagues. And I gave him a letter. It was a stirring letter that I received from a constituent in San Ramon, California, who told me he is a Muslim father and his kids were asking the day after the election, is this still a country where we can live? And he wanted to know what to tell his children. So I gave Did it to the Did he take the letter? Said, I, gave it, the I gave the letter. To the, I gave the letter to the president, and I, I told him I hope he speaks to their concerns, and he told me he would read it. Okay. By the way, but you mentioned jobs. Obviously, he's been only in office 41 days. I mean, like him or not, is it fair to judge a president on whether or not he's created jobs in 41 days? Well, this is a president who likes to make comparisons, whether it's crowd sizes uh, or anything else. And if you compare it to President Obama, by now we had already passed the American Recovery Act that put millions of people back to work. And so this is somebody who has Republicans in the majority in the House and the Senate, and he's not even able to work and strike deals with his own team. So right now, most importantly, this is about jobs. And when is he going to deliver jobs, not speeches, jobs? All right. Among your Democratic colleagues, representatives on Capitol Hill who were uh, who listened to that speech, who were there when uh, President Trump delivered that speech, did any of them express to you sort of what did they express to you? Did any of them express admiration for the way he delivered it? Did they, did, did they think he did a good job? Well, I, I certainly uh, appreciated that he acknowledged uh, Navy SEAL member Ryan Owens' wife and Megan oh, Crowley, God. the rare disease survivor, and law enforcement uh, to acknowledge the hard work that they do. But the rare disease survivor, Megan Crowley, before the Affordable Care Act, she would have been denied coverage because she would have been considered a pre-existing condition. And so uh, to bring her to the speech uh, was great. Her story is remarkable. But the coverage that she needs comes from the Affordable Care Act. And in the same speech, he said he wants to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one of the uh, sources in the White House spoke to CNN, to our Jeremy Diamond, in fact, and said that there had been a plan to sign a new travel ban executive order. Uh, also, we're seeing reports that perhaps it won't include Iraq this time, but that that signing was canceled today after positive reviews of the speech. In fact, we haven't heard from Donald Trump. What do you make of that, the fact that there had been a tr uh, an executive order scheduled to be signed today and that that seems not to be happening? What I make of it is it's still an administration that is in chaos. And the order has already been found to be unconstitutional. I'm more worried that it makes us less safe because the countries that we need to cooperate with us to fight terrorism are the countries that he is seeking to ban from having people come to our countries. Also, many of our allies in Eastern and Western Europe have taken on refugees. Mm -hmm. So we would not look like a team player at all if we were to say, we're not going to take refugees. So uh, it makes us less safe. We have screening processes that we should continue uh, to, to use to make us safe here in our country. Uh, but I, I don't see this travel ban, yeah. uh, this Muslim very ban going anywhere. Very briefly, you say the administration is in chaos, but that's not really what we witnessed yesterday, at least from the outside. It seemed like a tight team. The speech was written well. Donald Trump appeared presidential. You know, where are you... I mean, when you say it's in chaos, what's the evidence that you have that the administration is in chaos right now? Well, Holland, when I was a little kid and I'd screw up, my mom would always say, son, actions speak louder than words. Saying sorry is not enough. And for this president, we have seen 
zero action. We have just seen uh, some words, and I think the American people uh, want action and need action right now. Okay, and if we get a res if you get a response from the president uh, or a follow up on that letter, we'd love to, to have you back as well. I will. If, uh, I will. Thank if you, you'll Colin. come back, Your thank you, Representative. One. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Swalwell of California. We appreciate it. It's been another.